this tutorial is going to be on how to get the pogo effect slash the break effect but this time it's going to be for automation got a couple comments people were asking me how, how do I get this done I'm about to show you all right now as you see I can click on in the sequencer one of my channels here this one's a little sample let's get the trunk pop now as you see right here the pogo effects right here and when you right click on it the only option you get is reset they're not giving you really like an option that says like the automated now there's a lot of different ways you really could do this but the way I'm about to um, recommend is you can do it with a program called taste stop actually it's a VST plugin I'm gonna put it in the description for y'all for free but what we're gonna do is that we're gonna go right here go to our master from a master we're gonna go and we're gonna find the VST plugin called tape stop got it right here now the channel settings are very important if you don't have the settings cracked then this is not gonna work when we click on setup we have it says audio process mode real time speed fade off full speed mute off process mode we want it to be offline real time means you would basically have to press the play button is right here at the same time for the work right so we got that off put speed fade put that on and oh that's cool what we're gonna do now right here in the master there's a green green there's an indicator there's a green dot that's indicating that this plugin right now is on we're gonna right click on it click on create automation clip it's going to put an automation clip on the master. What you could do too is you can actually go straight into the um, sequencer itself. And from right here, you can actually click on one of these, send it to a channel. This is on channel one. It's got some reverb on it, and some EQ. What we could do is we can actually put that effect right here. And inside the mixer, you can actually right click on it right here and control it just this one channel, this one sound, one sample. So now, what we're going to do is that we're going to turn this all the way off. Just a little something, something. A different form. and keep on playing now the thing is this like we want let's just say for this example we want this part right here at the end we want this to have the poco slash break effect at the end we want it to be automated for automation this whole line right here you, you can automate the whole entire sound effect the whole vst so we can we're just going to make like a um, point right here and then we're going to drag this up Now what's gonna happen is that as this line was going up, it's actually turning on the sound effect right here, the VST. You see right now the green dot, the indicator is off. It's showing that it's off. As soon as we get to right here, when we press play, it's gonna turn on. Check it. Now you gotta play with the settings to get it exactly how you want it, but We'll start from more down here so that it has more time. So, right here. Now, what we're going to do is that we're going to go back to the master, set up, click on this plate button, go back. Now you see it's like that's like the break effect that they use on the radio like crazy it's all over the radio for curse words for anything you want so right that right there has been the break effect with automation brought to you by Jay silence thanks for watching <laughs>